It's December the 1st And I'm starting to hurt Cause I can't get a date For New Year's 20 years later, the neatest sound of the 50s From the neatest guys of the 50s Come back to life in a spectacular new album Who made the egg salad sandwiches? of the neatest hits from five of the neatest guys. Yes, it's the five neat guys, neatest hits. Remember, let's have a party in my rec room. Let's have a party in my rec room. And on the same album, I won't take just any girl around. Cause Patsy has the largest breasts in town. Has the largest breast in town. You'll also hear, Should I kiss her goodnight? My mom framed my high school diploma. Slow dance anyone, and she does it. Does it, she does it. The whole town says she does it. You'll also hear my dad's car. Let's have a party in my rec room. Who put the pennies in my loafers? And I'm the goof in the classroom. Songs from five of the world's neatest guys. It's K-Tel's Five Neat Guys Neatest Hits. Five thugs pulled my tie from my collar, so don't step on my clip-on tie. It's Five Neat Guys Neatest Hits. Just step around that clip-on tie. Record 895, tape percent 1595. If you're all itchy and red, from your thighs to your head, you better go, Colada. Your licensed candies and crafts are fed with just a few dabs of creamy cool colada. If you get caught in a funky situation, clean up your act with quick killing colada. Contains seven natural pesticides and 10% fruit juice. To, to get, get bugs out of your skin and keep on living in sin, you better go colada. Go colada, go colada, go colada. Thursdays at 9 on SCTV, watch the stars shine with veteran Hollywood producer Larry Siegel. Look at the show, look at the show, what are you going to watch? You're going to stay home and watch Monday Night Football, a bunch of guys are going to pigskin? What are you going to watch, reruns with a Fonzie? Come on, you're going to watch, what do you want? What do you got, got to hire a producer for 300,000? I make pictures in an office all day. I'll do what I want here. Joining Larry this week will be comedy team Dennis and David. Uh, you guys are funny guys, you know? You come out here, you do five minutes. You can't do this five minutes all over here. I got Griffin and Douglas the same five minutes. Why have been in Vegas for the rest of your life doing the same lousy five minutes? You gotta put together something. Put together a half hour. Put together some characters or something. What, are you gonna stay a team like this for the rest of your life? Put together something, you know? I mean, you come to me, we can work this thing out. You know, you, 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 you put together a little proposal, I can put you on to somebody. Elaine, get me Marty Abelson to Paramount. You know, you talk to this guy, he'll do something for you. Larry, get... Marty Abelson on the phone. Tell him I'll call him back. You know, I mean, did I, did I tell you? Shut up and listen to me. Did I tell you I'd get you on the show? Also joining Larry will be special effects artist Mark Greenstein. You don't know. You don't know. You see, they don't know. This man is the greatest animator in the business. What are we going to do? Put up a screen? What are we put up a screen and show you the effects? I'm not going to do that. What do you want? You want a Mickey Mouse or Bakshi up here? This man is the greatest. You, you know, I, you know, they don't know. The other day, we're talking, we're talking at, at the restaurant. I'm not making What do you? I say, I don't understand. You, you go to Mommy's on fifteen dollars for a bowl of soup. When we go to school, seventy-five cents for a bowl of soup. What do you got to Mommy's on a lousy fifteen dollars for the worst soup in the city? Elaine, Elaine, give me my mother. You gotta tell you, my, my mother tell you how to, how to make how, how to make a bowl of soup. Your mother. Ma. How are you, dear? Ma, ma, fine. Ma, what, you, 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 made me, you, know, you know, you know the soup. What? You, you, the, the soup you made. You know, what, what's the vegetable? There's a vegetable you put in the soup. It's not a carrot. It's not, it's not parsley, turnip? it's not... Turnip? What? Turnip? Turnip. It's what's a turnip in soup, it's entirely different. The whole thing has to be, they make Just the... boil it with everything. Yeah, yeah, Ma, I gotta go. Are you seeing anybody Ma, I'll call you back. When? Goodbye. You know, just put a turnip in the soup, the whole thing is a lousy man. It's on a $15 soup, the whole thing is crap. And Paramutual Pictures Business Affairs Executive Barry Safransky will explain the economics of movie making. You put a lousy stop payment on that check when I'm talking to me? What do you like the numbers? You don't like the agent? That's my job. You call me before you do something like that. These guys are not driving around in Rolls Royce and Mercedes Benz and Porsches. They're taking a lousy bus to the studios. You don't know. You don't, you don't know. You don't know. Join Larry and his guests on The Larry Siegel Show this Thursday at 9 on SCTV. You know what he's saying? He's drinking a poison. He drank poison. I'm not telling you to drink poison. I'm telling you to do a lousy with a couple of measly writers. A lousy check. You know, I don't. And go. What?
Come on. Beautiful. Good day. Welcome to the Great White North, a.k.a. Canadian Corner. My name is Bob McKenzie. It's my brother, Doug. How's it going, eh? Okay, today we're going to talk about traveling. And, uh, okay, like, we had to uh, drive a grandma to Toronto, right? Okay, so, like, we, we were on the highway and we stopped on the way back, right? So, like, we had breakfast, right? So we ordered, like, bacon eggs. We say, we'll give us some back bacon. They say, sorry, all we got is, like, side bacon, right? So he says to her, well, if you've only got side bacon, then give us side bacon and side eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so she says, no way, eh? Okay. So, like, what other things that happened while we were traveling are, uh, we got a flat. Oh, right. Okay. So our topic today is flats. Okay? So, like, okay, you get a flat, right? So what do you do? You, you change it, right? Okay. What? What else? I'm not contributing as much to the shows anymore. Because I heard we were getting different salaries. Where do you, where do you... I'm not talking. Go on, do the show. No, where do you hear that? Good day. That's all I say. Good day, eh? Oh, we're out of time. That's the show for today. So, good day. Where do you hear that? I heard it. Well, how much are you make? I'm not telling. Come on. It's too embarrassing. I'll pull your toque right off your head. Don't. How much? Don't, eh? Take off. You I'll want... take it off. How okay. much you make? How about the red cheek, oh, eh? Oh, jeez. You want the red cheek? You're really low. You hosed me out there, eh? Yeah. Talk about it. Take off. Okay. Yuri Rosmanovich, the 400-pound Russian Olympic weightlifting champion, amazed the world last year by deadlifting 850 pounds. Now Yuri comes to SCTV in his very first television variety special. Yuri, getting to know you. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Getting to like you, getting to hope you like me. With Yuri's special guest, Dolly Parton. I bet you take plenty of steroids. You look like you got stereo steroids. <laughs> Special guest, Fred Astaire. Put on the top heads. Hey, Fred! And a guest appearance by Yuri's friend, Rodney Dangerfield. No, I don't have any luck with women at all, you know? No, my wife, she's no bargain either. Last week she told me to take out the garbage. She's always trying to fix me up with dates, you know? Huh. I don't know, you know? Oh, I tell you, Mr. Dangerfield, you are a pitiful man. I don't even get no respect from a big fat Russian communist, you know. A big fat Russian communist. We'll be right back with more respect after this. He's great. I love him. Yuri, ladies and more gentlemen. Respect. Yuri, yeah. More respect. Now I will be American faith healer. Heal. There'll be lots of that special Heal. Yuri Rasmanovich humor. Because of all. So for a fun-filled hour of music, comedy, and weightlifting, join Yuri and all his friends on Yuri Getting to Know You. Thursday at 9 on the SCTV Television Network. I've got your picture. I've got your picture. I'd like a million of you all round my cell. I want the doctor to take a picture So I can look at you from inside as well You get me turning up and turning down I'm turning in and turning round Turning Japanese, turning Japanese I really think so Turning Japanese, turning Japanese I really think so Turning Japanese, turning Japanese, I really think so. Turning Japanese, turning Japanese, completely Jap bunnies. Hey.
Hey, I like that. Some beautiful video from Tom Monroe from his latest disc entitled Tom Monroe on a New Wavelength. And that's a pretty thing called Turning Japanese. And a good good morning to you. Welcome back to the Jerry Todd Show here in the wee small ones of a Saturday morning. We've got some fine video for you this morning, as well as another incredible contest cash call, and a lot, lot more. It's all for our friends at Crazy Highs, 4650 Lansdowne Avenue, and Jerry Todd will be right back in just a sec. Every TV made, every recorder too. We got big screens, little screens. How about Subachi's in a three-in-one? You can't get a better deal. Special this week, 17-inch TV, $17. 19 inch, $19. We got acres of TVs, the biggest video warehouse in the world. Crazy Highs 4650 lands down near Pape. Don't touch that dial. Coming soon, the most incredible contest ever. Your chance to win cold, hard cash. Keep watching. I always watch the Jerry Todd show. Jerry Todd. And a good good morning to you in the wee small ones of a Saturday. And we've got the request lines open on the Jerry Todd Show, and let's see who's there. Good morning, how you doing? Hi, Jerry, I'm fine, you? Pretty good. What can we do for you this morning? Could you play Mission Impossible? Which episode would you like to see, my dear? I don't know any of them. Oh, could you play Stairway to Heaven too, Jerry? Okay, we'll try and get that for you. Thank you for calling. Request lines are open anytime here on the Jerry Todd Show. And we're going to play the incredible contest in just a sec. Right now, though, some new video. This is from Five Easy Pieces. Take a look at this. Thank you. Thank you. Shut up. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, that's terrific. That's from Five Easy Pieces. And it's called My Head is Spinning. Right here on the Jerry Todd Show here this morning. And we'll play the incredible contest in just a sec. But right now, a little business to take care of. I always watch the Jerry Todd Show. Jerry Todd weather. And it looks pretty good, it does. It is going to be cloudy. Don't think it'll rain, though. Let's check the low right now. Overnight low of 45 degrees. That's a little on the chilly side. Checking the high, gonna get up to 63 degrees. That's a little warmer. And right now, on the Jerry Todd Show, that's just, uh, that's a little better. On the Jerry Todd Show, time to check the satellite picture for crazy highs. Jerry, uh, we're looking pretty good up here. we got a good picture up here now. Uh, earlier on, we had some uh, transmission. Whoa, gee, oh, there's that camera there up here is a little weightlessness. Anyway, we got a, uh, we got a good picture going up here now. We had some uh, earlier problems, uh, transmission problems, but we're looking good now, Jerry, and uh, it's a good picture. And uh, there's a picture of Buzz Shaven, and uh, he's uh, really been shaving a lot up here. And, uh, anyway, just want to say hi to uh, the folks at home. We'll be back in uh, about three months. And that's a satellite picture for Crazy Highs, 4650 Lansdowne. That's a good picture. They're using a Hyman Earth receiver dish, only $39.95. Cuts everything, free TV, pay TV, weatherproof. Bring in your old VCRs on Monday. The first 10 get free 16-foot screens. That's Crazy Highs, 4650 Lansdowne near Pape. The Jerry Todd Show. Okay, here we go. Time to make our next incredible contest cash call. And here's hoping that we have a winner this hour. We're calling at random someone in the local area here on the Jerry Todd Show. And we'll see who we've got on the video phone. Hello. You're on the Jerry Todd Show. Hello. Who is it? This is Jerry Todd. Can you tell us how much money is in the incredible contest jackpot this hour? Um, what? What? 
Dude. How much money in the incredible contest jackpot this hour? You can win it all if you know the correct figure. Do I get it? If I I win it all? You win it all if you oh. can guess. <laughs> I was sleeping. I was sweating. I must have a fever. That $2,029. I'm sorry, you are wrong. Please, please. And we will make another call. Next hour, we'll add $10 to the jackpot. Meantime, right now on the Jerry Todd Show, a little more video and another track from Tom Monroe's on a new wavelength video disc. And this is called a do-do-do. Don't think me unkind. Words are hard to find When the eloquence escapes me Their logic ties me up and takes me Do 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 do, da 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 It's all I wanna be saying to you saying to you do 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 da 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 the meaningless and all that's true SCTV is on TV again <laughs> whoa ba ba boom ba ba boom it's been a while. I've been on this show in so long. <laughs> I was across the hall taping a special. I had to stop by. <laughs> you madman. Well, look, what are you doing here? Well, I'm not on a crusade against the press. I can tell you that. They've been uh, they've been good to me. Touch wood. <laughs> But, uh, Sammy, let me just say something here, please. I've been listening to uh, Lola and the lawsuit thing. Let me just say, Lola Heatherton represents everything that's good in this town. As a person, she's marvelous. And as a performer, she's absolutely marvelous. And I love her. I really do. She's the best. I really she's do. the best. Bobby Bittman, you're so sincere, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bobby, look. I read that uh, you were in Washington testifying before a congressional committee on the drug problem here in Hollywood. That's right, Sammy, and uh, funny you should bring that up because I didn't think you could read. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Sammy, if I may, if I may, as a comic, as a comic in all seriousness, this, this drug thing that's happening in town I don't know about you, Sammy, but when I get paid, I get paid with the green stuff. I don't get paid with the white stuff. Oh, right on. Yeah! Now, when the Congress of the United States of America phoned me, phoned me, Sammy, and asked me to testify, I felt it was my obligation, not only as an American citizen, but as a comic in this town, and I did, and, 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 I, uh, and I brought some outtakes from that hearing, Sammy, by the way, because we had some laughs in there. <laughs> All right. If you want to rack that up, okay. I don't know what's on there. I haven't seen it. I don't know what the hell's on that thing. <laughs> okay, then I'll just set it up. Uh, these are outtakes from the congressional investigation hearings on uh, drug abuse in Hollywood with star witness Bobby Bidman. <laughs> Let's take a look at these things. And the fact that you have taken time out of your busy schedule to appear before this committee, uh, Mr. Bittman, is greatly appreciated. Uh, Mr. Bittman, uh, this committee is now ready for your opening statement. Thank you, Congressman Hart. Gentlemen, as an American citizen, I found... What the... <laughs> Mr. Bittman, uh, we do not stop tape in a congressional hearing. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh. And to the best of my recollection, gentlemen, that's everyone I know. 
Mr. Bittman, could you repeat for the committee the name of the last drug abuser you just mentioned? We did not quite get that. Uh, certainly. I said Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Mr. Bittman, may we remind you that you are under oath? Under oath? <laughs> I think we better take this from the top. <laughs> Mr. Bittman, this committee, uh, to all concerned, uh, this committee will recess uh, for 15 minutes. Oh, boy, recess! <laughs> Oh, oh, Bobby Bittman, how many of our names did you mention? Oh. <laughs> Sammy, can I say something? Yeah, where are you? In light of what we've just seen, you know, sure, this town has a drug problem. No one knows that better than Sammy. You know, Sammy wouldn't bring this up. That's just the kind of guy he is. But Sammy and I, we go back a number of years. I remember Sammy when he had a massive drug habit. That's right. What was it, two, three thousand dollars a day? What's your point, William? Well, the point is this, Sam. Even a, an ex-dope head, a, a reformed alcoholic, as you were, you could completely kick those habits and then make a career comeback the way he did. I mean, that's testimony to you, Sammy Maudlin. The man. And yes, the star. The star, Sammy Maudlin. I love you. Well, uh, I kind of wish you hadn't brought that up, William, but uh, now that we... Uh, I, I, we... Better than that, better than that. I, I took the liberty of documenting those horrible days in, in a book. Sammy Maudlin, The Loser I Knew. I wrote that. It's my new book. It'll be coming out soon. All right, Sam. put that thing away. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're running out of time. Uh, Bobby, uh, it's always a thrill. Lola, good luck in that lawsuit. Mother Teresa, you're off to... Uh... India, Sammy. All right, keep up the good work there. William, I'll talk to you later. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>